A YouTube Duck Guess here. This is my special review. Well, not special review. It's more like a <laughs> small documentary I wanted to make called "The Rise of a Certain Individual," Mr. Tyler Bate. Now he first came into SWA at an event called A New Day. Now he debuted in a tag team match. Uh, he tagged with Marshall X and took on uh, Chris Brooks and Jonathan Gresham on February seventh, two thousand and fourteen. Which would be irony, my birthday and the last show at the Anasis Memorial Hall in Maidley. Uh, yeah, that was a great match. Didn't realise at the time now that Tyler would become a rising star. Now we move forward to the show called Inception 3. Now he was involved in the triple threat match uh, with uh, Mark Andrews, TNA star now, and Eddie Dennis for the Attack Pro Wrestling 24 7 Championship. Um, um, I, 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 I can't fathom how great that match was as well. He get Mark, he has Eddie Dennis, who's no small guy, and he and he, he spins him around. Mark Andrews comes off the top, and then he grabs him in the uh, in the giant swing. He swings and does the airplane spin at the same time. So he's got two individuals. He's swinging around, and he's. I was in awe. I think. And then he had a in, in and then he went on to face Ryan Small, uh, another incredible matchup by the way. Then he went on to uh, face Damien Dunn for the first time for the British Lions Championship. Now, this <laughs> that was, it was not even supposed to be. That was supposed to be for uh, that was supposed to be Mark Andrews, but he was injured, so Tyler took over and unfortunately lost. But then we had the bonus. Um, he was announced that he would take on originally. Michael Elgin for uh, the who was at the time the Ring of Honor World Champion. Um, it was all looking positive. Summer Blur was looking like it was going to be Tyler versus Michael Elgin for the Ring of Honor World Title, and then visa problems couldn't really get that match. But we ended up with the best match of his career. As you can tell, he's on the front cover as well. Summer Blowout. Him and Jay Lethal for the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Now, I can't really give this 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 match justice by talking about it. I mean, what you need to do is order it yourself. Order this show. That's all I'm going to say. Order it. Um... I can't really say what made that show unique, really. You know, we all came in the ring, we all congratulated him, and I think from then on, after that match, which which Jay retained the title, uh, Tyler became more than just a more than just a wrestler. He became the people's champion, and he lived up to it as well. In at uh, British Lions when he uh, won the tournament. Then he ended up winning the championship, which everybody knows was at Gold Rush. Um, yeah, um, also debuted at Hope Wrestling, won there and there as well. And he debuted in EDW as well this year, lost to Jerry Osborne. Hope that becomes a match of the future. I would love to see them two go at it again. Uh, so, what do I think? Well, Tyler, maybe only 17, Brogan 18, but... Whew, He's had a great, great, great year. Um, I can't do him any. I can't do this any justice, really. You know, this video has been, you know, incredible to watch. You know, it, it's been a pleasure have a pleasure to actually see all of his matches this year. All the matches I've seen him in, anyway. But it was an incredible honor to see him against Jay uh, for the uh, Ring of Honor TV title. Uh, do I think he'll be ring uh, SWA champion anytime soon? Maybe, yes. Actually, I will say, yes, he will be. Will he leave the UK to explore other places like America and Japan? Definitely. I honestly think, you know, Tyler will be great in Japan. I think he'll be great in, in America. I don't know whether he would fit in WWE TNA. I think he's more of a Ring of Honor guy, really, to be perfectly honest. But that's up to him, really. If he got the offer... Like all of us would, I think you and I all would all take the you know the, the job at WWE. So uh, as I said, the future is bright for Tyler. I congratulate him on his success. 2015 probably will be another positive year. 2016, 17, beyond. I think 
You think you deserve this? So, uh, I might do more of these wrestling profiles, maybe. Maybe I'll do Ryan Smile next, but uh, yes. So anyway, this is Dark Guest signing off with the rise of Tyler Bate. Um, one of the best wrestling wrestlers I have ever seen. And to be blunt, and a people's champion and a true pioneer of British wrestling. This is Dark Guest signing off. <laughs>